Now, up to three million people in Hong Kong are to be granted new rights to come to live and work in the UK. The decision follows China's imposition of a new security law that makes it a crime to undermine Beijing's authority. Boris Johnson denounced the legislation as a clear and serious breach of the 1985 Sino-British Joint Declaration. That was the agreement which uh, set out how certain freedoms would be protected for 50 years after China assumed sovereignty uh, back in 1997. Now, our China correspondent, John Sudworth, has the latest for us. 23 years after China took control of Hong Kong, it was an anniversary marked with tear gas and arrests. Familiar scenes, but the stakes for protesters are now so much higher with the new national security law in force. For Hong Kong's pro-Beijing leaders, though, this was a day to celebrate with a flag-raising ceremony and a champagne toast with Chinese officers. For Beijing, this is all about sovereignty, with China denying that the new law breaches its promise to Britain to uphold Hong Kong's freedoms. But the UK government clearly disagrees and it is now pushing ahead with its plan to offer up to three million Hong Kongers eligible for British National Overseas Passports or BNOs a route to citizenship. We will grant BNOs five years limited leave to remain with the right to work or study. After these five years they'll be able to apply for settled status and after a further 12 months with settled status they will be able to apply for citizenship. Senior Chinese officials, though, had already made it clear they've no time for what they see as foreign meddling. We are making a law concerning a region of China to safeguard its national security. It's none of your business. Hong Kong's protesters, though, are certain that something fundamental is being lost. I'm angry at the disrespect for human rights that this uh, national security legislation uh, brings. I think very obviously the purpose of law is to change Hong Kong from rule of law to rule of fear. This photo shows the first man arrested for advocating independence from China. And new police banners were on display warning that such slogans could constitute secession or subversion, new offences punishable with up to life in prison. John Sudworth, BBC News, Beijing.